You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm gonna go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how can you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it! it. I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us will hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly. I'm handsome, I'm handsome. This can't be happening to me. All of a sudden I'm ugly. I must be hallucinating. was great. Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. 
I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talala is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. <laughs> Little bee, how are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu. I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little B, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little B, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four. Perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. 
Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one. Then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Now fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee is coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me, and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait, I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what you do every day. Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> Doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita. I'm sure you're going to <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up. I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh, so what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! 
Alfred, come over here quick. I've got something incredible to tell you. Mumu and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Mumu? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Mumu. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Mumu, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside. a leg! And another leg. They're so pretty. How adorable. Oh, I love this. Careful. Ooh, Look how fast Don't step on it. Job, don't look at me like that. I said, don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh. Adorable! <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy. Come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. 